In this video, we will walk through how to create an augmented feature layer using the Pi integrator for Esri ArcGIS. As a user, you want to create an augmented feature layer when your Pi system does not contain geometry information, such as longitude and latitude. I've already made sure that my Pi integrator for Esri ArcGIS and the ArcGIS platform are properly configured. In addition, my Pi asset framework is ready too. I want to bring in these Wells assets and their attributes into the ArcGIS platform. Notice that there is no geometry information located in my Pi AF system. To start, I will go to the configuration portal. I've already created a service called Global Wells. Within the service, I want to create a new layer. We'll give this layer a name and a description. Here we will continue to use the time-enabled feature layer. For more information about how to configure this type of layer, please reference the other video in this series. We are going to publish to ArcGIS Online, so I will click on the ArcGIS Online button and provide my user credentials. Once we are authenticated, we can continue to the next step. Now we want to select the AF server, AF database, and template which contains our data. I'm going to select the Well Slide No Geometry database, and the template I'm interested in is the Well template. We can hit the Preview button to bring back the results. Notice again that there is no geometry information in my assets. Let's hit Continue. In this next page, we want to bring in all the template attributes as fields. Since we do not have geometry information, we will leave the drop-down choices for geometry blank. The only functional choice we need to specify is the unique key. I know that well ID uniquely identifies each well, so I can select the well ID as the key. To do that, let me first uncheck key from the element name and now I can select key for the function choice for well ID. I can also unselect the element name from being included since I know that it is the same as the well ID. Let's hit continue. Now we are taken to a new page to supply geometry information from an external source. I have already prepared an existing ArcGIS feature layer with this geometry information. This feature layer is hosted on ArcGIS Online. We can take a look at the list of fields that are included in this feature layer. And you'll notice that it includes longitude and latitude geometry information. I will copy this URL and paste it into the Geometry Feature Layer URL field and hit Connect. Note that if you are using a feature layer that is not publicly available, you may need to configure additional information such as an application ID. For more information, please consult the user documentation on this section. Let's hit Populate here to populate the list of fields provided by the feature layer. We now need to join the existing feature layer using a field which matches the unique key we have selected earlier. This is indicated by the read-only text box. I know that my feature layer join field is also named well ID. To finish the layer creation, let's select Create Layer. Once the Pi integrator has fully initialized the layer, we can immediately view the data on a map by clicking View in Map Viewer. We'll sign into our ArcGIS Online account. And here we will provide the same user account which we use to create the layer so that we can see integrator data.
Now our features are being populated on the map. Let's zoom in to see the full extent. Let's select a feature to show its pop-up. You can see that the Pi integrator references our existing feature layer containing geometry information and augments this with Pi AF system data. With that, we have configured an augmented feature layer so that the Pi integrator for Esri ArcGIS can reference external geometry data and bring Pi system data to the ArcGIS platform.